Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we'll try to understand how run, CMD and entry point concept are used in Dockerfile. We usually get confused while uh, using run, CMD and entry point in our Docker file. The reason is all these three commands are interchangeably used when you are writing a Docker file and creating a Docker image out of it. So what is the difference between run, CMD and entry point? So run executes when building the image. CMD and entry point execute when the container starts. So this is the main difference between them. Let us write a docker file and try to understand even more better. Okay, so now let's write the docker file. So the first instruction is from, this will indicate my base image and my base image is alpine. Uh, so if you are not defining as colon as latest, so by default, this means that it will take uh, the latest image of alpine. Okay. So now let's say that I have a dependency um, in our application and uh, the dependency is that it requires Python. So this is where we'll make use of run and I'll write the next command that is run and I'll get the apk add python and the version is 3. So the second command is run. Now we'll define the entry point. So let's define the entry point okay so okay so here my main function is to ping let me give little bit space here okay so the main function is to ping uh, you can say a website so let's say I add the command for that so I'll put ping and I'll define hyphen C and let's say I want to ping it for seven times okay so now this is our entry point and what it needs to ping the argument it requires right and that has been passed using c m d and now here i want it to i want that my argument that should be passed to entry point is google.com so this will actually ping google.com google.com Okay, so let's understand once more the entire docker file. From, from is actually indicating the base image alpine where it is using the latest version of alpine. Okay, second we have a run. So when we build the image, we will be installing Python with, with the version of 3. Now we have CMD and entry point. So this is where we are going ahead and running our container. And the main process that is going to happen is it will ping uh, google.com that to for seven times and the argument that entry point is getting is from our cmd so now that we have our docker file ready let us uh, build the image and run the container out of this so the first command to build the image is docker build dot hyphen t and the name of the image is mega and the version or you can see the tag that we are giving is 3. So this is actually going to build the image from our docker file. Now let's run our container. So the command is docker run. My image name is mag colon 3. So the output of this command will be it will ping seven times and that to google.com so this would be the output of my uh, docker run command that will that is used to start a container we can also override the content that is cmd google.com that we are passing as an argument to entry point and we can do that with the help of the command itself so just copy this entire command docker run and the image name that i want is mg3 so right now it was pinging google.com because in the cmd we are passing google.com right let me change it to some other um, argument so any random let's say web 2 
so now the output of this command will not be ping google.com it will be ping web2 so we have actually overridden the argument that has been passed here so this is also one use case of um, using cmd run and entry point thank you for watching